Hello, this is Joanne Knight. Welcome back to the barn. I have gotten myself in a bit of a mess today and I want to show you what I did and how I'm going to recover from it because it might happen to you at the same time. So this barn buddy is going to be a little bit about relocate. I have really nice lights on the back of my table that Dusty set up for me and they're LED under the counter kitchen lights that I got from Lowe's and they do a really good job of reflecting the back of the quilt to show you what it looks like with the mirror there and the lights to keep me from getting on my hands and knees. But you kind of sort of have to look at them before you roll the quilt if you want to pay attention to what's happening on the back of the quilt. So when I was quilting this newest little wall hanging called Not So Crazy, this pattern right here had some issues with tension on the back of the quilt. I either had it rolled too tight, something, something wasn't right with it, and I did not notice it until I had moved it. Where my crosshair is on this computer screen is the position of this point right up here. If I scroll in and let you look at it, it's this little point right here. You see, I've got a little bit of shrinkage going on, but this point is actually right here where the crosshair is. And that's because I rolled the quilt, did some unsewing, and then rolled the quilt back. The patterns on the screen have not moved. Creative Studio is not going to understand that I physically rolled that quilt. So what I want to do is go back and quilt this one little pattern right here. So I'm going to toggle it as unsewn. What I need to do now is tell Creative Studio this pattern is no longer located in this position on the XY axis. It is actually down here where the crosshair is. So I am going to relocate and I'm going to relocate everything to one point because I want to find this little point right up here. It's a very sharp little point and I can mimic that on the quilt even though I have unsewn this pattern because I still have needle holes on the quilt. So it's not going to be hard to tell Creative Studio where that is. What you're doing with relocate is you are telling Creative Studio that these patterns on the screen are no longer in the same position that they were. The quilt has moved, it has rolled something, but they're no longer in that spot. Now there's a couple of different relocates. I'm going to right click on this pattern and it does not have to be the pattern that I want to relocate. If I click on this one and I right click, Sometimes this right click menu kind of gets in my way. So since I am moving everything, I can right click on a totally different pattern and still be able to see this one in this position. When I go down here to relocate, I'm going to tell Creative Studio I want to shift all to one point. Where one pattern on the screen goes, everything needs to go because I really have not finished quilting these patterns on the bottom, even though they are toggled as sewn. So I'm going to go to relocate, shift all to one point. If I shift all to two points, what that does is give me a location for the first point and an angle for the second point, and I don't need to do that. So in this instance, I'm going to left click on shift all to one point. Creative Studio is going to ask me to click a known point on that computer screen. So I'm going to scroll in here really, really close and I can use my end snap if I want to, but the end is over here and I would rather pick this point right here. So I'm going to left click on that point. And then Creative Studio says, click yes when the machine head is at the same point on the quilt or click no to cancel. So let's see how well this is going to work and let me try this out. My machine head is in that position, so I'm going to say yes. 
and Creative Studio is going to move everything to that point and you can see that it is exactly in the position that it's supposed to be in. Also notice that the boundary did not move. Boundaries cannot move. It is red and it's selected so I'm just going to hit delete because I need to click a new boundary whenever I start to do the bottom of the quilt. Creative Studio will also at times toggle all of the patterns as sewn because I only want this one pattern to quilt. I'm going to go right up here to select all patterns left click on that and I'm going to left click on toggle the patterns as sewn and then go back and take this one pattern and toggle it unsewn. Now while I have that pattern selected I trust Creative Studio for it to do what I ask it to do but I don't want to have to run needle off. I'm going to change my speed on this particular pattern to 35% and that means that only this one pattern one time is going to quilt at 35%. So whenever it starts to quilt right here I'm going to be able to see if Creative Studio goes back in those same needle holes and if I did it correctly. If it does not go back in the same needle holes then all I have to do is just relocate again because I can do it more than one time. So let's see how this works out. I don't think that you can tell it by looking at the picture, but that is absolutely spot on perfect. Even though I rolled this quilt completely away from where it was supposed to be, Creative Studio is putting those stitches right back in those needle holes exactly where it needs to be. So that's as easy as it gets whenever you need to put a pattern back in there is to relocate and move it to one place. Now when I get through stitching this particular one, I can roll my quilt and go on to the next part that I need to quilt and toggle this as unsewn and then relocate again to be able to get in a better position to quilt the bottom of the quilt. So I hope that that helps you. I love this software. I absolutely love everything about it. Thank you.